For years and years, the only team I knew had signing restrictions was Athletic Bilbao, but it turns out they're quite a bit more common than you might think. Thanks to Football Manager 2023 being released, I've checked every single team that's on FIFA to see if they have transfer restrictions, and I'll be letting you know every single one you can try and simulate on FIFA 23 career mode. I've even found some really cool teams that aren't actually on FIFA, so I'll be sharing them as a Creator Club separate ideas video on the channel soon, so make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss that video. So, in total, there are three different teams on FIFA 23 that have specific signing instructions. The first is the most obvious, Athletic Bilbao as I mentioned earlier. With their own motto about the policy being, with homegrown talent and local support, there is no need for imports, Bilbao have been signing only players from the Basque area of Spain for 110 years. In fact, People have known about this policy so much that there's actually two different Sophie for shortlists. One that is every single Basque player and one that is every single Basque academy player. So no matter which kind of save you want to do, you'll have a list of players that are eligible if you want to keep the Basque policy with Bilbao. The second team is another one that I've talked about on this channel before, Gimcheon Sangmu FC. The entire Sangmu squad is made up of young South Korean professional footballers who are currently serving their military duty. Every single season, 15 new young players join the club and 15 old players will leave it. If you try and recreate this on FIFA, I think you'll have a truly unique FIFA career mode save. You'll constantly be turning over almost all of your squad. You'll have 30 players at all times, but half of it will change every single season, and you'll never have a player who is above 25 years old. With the restriction being only signing South Korean players under 25, this is actually very easy to do with the in-game tools we have. The transfer market search can do both of these things, by restricting not only the nationality to Korean but the age to everyone between 16 and 25, you can get a list of every single player that is eligible for Gim Chun Sang Mu. The third team I found with a restriction isn't one that's actually hard coded in the game, but it is a general philosophy that league earned club Clerm on Foot have embraced for over 20 years. Since the 2000 to 2001 season, the club has not paid a single penny for a transfer. In 2001, they bought a single player for 400,000 euros, but that was it. That was the last time Clermont Foot spent any money on a transfer. They're a very unique team. In fact, Clermont Foot is actually based in a town that is more known for its rugby team than its football team, despite its football team being in the top flight of French football. In 2014, Clermont became the first professional men's team to appoint a female manager when they appointed Helena Costa. She quit after less than a month, but she was replaced by another woman, Corinne Diacre, who's now actually the manager of the French women's team. The policy of only signing very cheap and loan players while also giving female managers a chance makes Clermont Foot one of the most unique teams in France. They're definitely worth giving a save if you want to try and do something a bit more unique. For other teams, there are some other restrictions or preferences, but they're not really hard coded and they do also do things that are outside of these preferences. For example, there's two teams in Denmark. FC Midtjylland sign a lot of Nigerian and Ghanaian players, especially through their youth academy. This is based on some of the links they have to other clubs that play in Africa, where they send their best talents to Denmark to play for Midtjylland. There's something similar with Nordsjælland, except they do the same with Ghana and Egypt. This kind of policy means they get a lot of top African players coming through in Denmark, and these are usually sold on for a lot more money than they're signed for. Romanian team Sepski OSK have a similar thing. Of course, being Romanian, you can expect they do sign a lot of Romanian young players. However, they also sign a lot of young Hungarian players. So if you're interested in doing a Romania and Hungarian save, maybe Sepski could be the team for you. In Spain, there's a team that I've mentioned a lot of times. FC Andorra on Football Manager only produce Andorran regions. 
Unfortunately, this can't be done on console version of FIFA, but if you're playing on the PC version, when you've got Cheat Engine open, you can also change your scouting nationality to be Andorran, and maybe see if you can make more than the one Andorran player that is actually on FIFA to begin with. And in the United States, as you would expect, Vancouver, Toronto and Montreal all produce Canadian players on Football Manager. This is super easy to do on FIFA as well, just make sure you've got your best youth scout being sent to Canada and you'll get lots of high potential young Canadian players coming through. These are just the real life examples of restrictions that some of these teams can have. If you're interested in doing some kind of fantasy restrictions, then you can easily set one of these up before you start your save. For example, you could maybe create your own creator club where every single player is bold and you can only sign bold players. They do actually come through the youth academy sometimes with bald hair, so this could be a very fun and very interesting way of using a youth academy only save where you're not actually going to be able to sign every single player. Similarly, you could set a restriction where you play as a team in England or Germany or France or Spain where you only sign players from a certain area. For example, I've seen someone on Reddit who's doing this with Blackburn Rovers. They're only signing players who were born in Lancashire. It's not too hard to find a list of players born in a county because a lot of English media websites do do these lists where it's like the 10 best players born in Nottinghamshire, for example. These kind of lists can be useful, so make sure you search them out if you're trying to do a save like this. The Yorkshire 11 is probably one of the most famous ones. You can easily pick up a team that is based in Yorkshire in Division 4 and only sign players from Yorkshire. Of course, this even includes Erling Haaland if you want to get all the way to the Champions League, so it could be a very fun save. If you want to do something more based around transfer spending, maybe you could make your transfer restriction that you can only spend a certain amount on wages. An example of this could be starting out in a fourth division, you've got £2,000 to spend on wages. You get promoted, now you can spend 4000 in the second division 6000 and when you're in the top flight, you can spend £8,000 on wages. This challenge gets gradually harder and you'll have to find some real bargains who are good enough for the top division while also only paying them £8,000 a week. Restrictions like this can make the game a lot more fun. While Athletic Bilbao is the most famous with its Basque only policy, I do think doing any save with Bilbao, Gimcheon or Clermont Foot would be a very good career mode save. If you've got any suggestions for other teams that have restrictions that I've missed, please do leave them in the comments below. I've got some really good ones, for example in Austria, there's a ton of different teams that have Polish players, Croatian players, Iraqi players, Serbian players, they're all really good suggestions. So if you've got any suggestions for teams like that, maybe think about teams like Turguku München in Germany, who of course heavily focus on Turkish players, or Club Kimrich, who is a Welsh team that only signs Welsh national players who can speak Welsh, then do leave them in the comments below as well. I'm always on the lookout for good Create Club ideas, so if you've got any suggestions, make sure you leave them in the comments or on my Discord where the link is in the description. Thank you to everyone that's joined the channel recently, I've put their names on the screen right now. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you soon, subscribe for more like this and I'll see you soon. Thank you and goodbye.